Hi, and thanks for watching. Today I'm making a card for Technique Junkies Design Team, and I am going to be grunging my card or making it a grungy looking card. And this is going to be a lot of fun, so let's get started. I'm going to be using several different shimmering bliss sprays from Technique Junkies, including Harvest Sunset, Mixed Metal, Gold, Chestnut Mare, and Worn Saddle. You'll need a splat box if you're going to be doing this type of process. So I start with the Harvest Sunset. So my splat box, I'm just spraying a um, piece of paper. Um, this is basically a piece of paper that is folded in half, like cut in half, I mean. And I'm using the gold now. And I'm just taking that Shimmering Bliss. I have already previously rolled the bottles between my hands to get that mica mixed up. Shimmering Bliss sprays are highly... Um, um, like there's a lot of mica in the bottle. And so you've got this wonderful shine. Um, mixed metals is the, is the next color that I'm using. There's no really um, wrong way to do this. You just spray. Uh, you get your bottles and you just start spraying different colors. And you're going to get a really cool looking background. All right. So my paper's curling. So I'm just going to take this paper towel and just damp just damp down or push down with this paper towel that helped to flatten it down a little bit now I know I need more color you see how I'm rolling it between my hands um, this is gold that I'm spraying right now by the way I do have this fast forwarded a little bit not a lot just like a little bit just for the sake of time um, it's just a process you just pick the colors out that you want to try I was going for um, sort of an antique look so this sprayed paper reminds me of parchment paper all right so let's go ahead and spray another piece or two uh, now this one is um, an a2 size base and the gold color is what I'm spraying first I love that gold and then harvest sunset I think the two go together nicely and I'm holding my bottle close to the paper um, this is going to give me this maximum amount of color. That is worn saddle. Isn't that beautiful? I, I love those colors together. So gold, harvest, sunset, and worn saddle. Whoops, my lid keeps falling down. Oh, that's funny. And I'm just taking my paper and kind of soaking up some of the spray that kind of fell off or dripped off and you don't have to do that but I thought I would give it a try because you just never know what type of uh, patterns you might get uh, or how it might look by doing that all right so I'm spraying a little bit more gold along there and you can let it air dry or you can dry it with your heat gun the choice is yours so that one was looking pretty good. Um, I think I actually. I do continue to work this panel and add a little bit more shimmering bliss to it to get a uh, deeper saturation and looks like I'm picking up the uh, what color was that looks like it's the gold again yeah that's gold and this is going to be a nice shiny gold and you know this could be used if I don't use it as a panel background I could use it to mat my sentiments and I think with this card that's what I end up doing I end up taking this piece and using my decal trimmer and using this as a matte layer for my sentiment or you could use it as a matte layer for your grungy panel so 
I, I use all of this. You know, I don't ever throw this stuff out. I keep it in a box that I know that I can use in the future, if not for this particular project. So I'm going to throw another full size sheet of paper. And so I'm using, um, a watercolor paper. It is can Canson, sorry, Canson, uh, cold press. All right. You can also use accent opaque. If you use the 100 pound or the 120 pound. All right. So this is, um, first of all, that lid is driving me crazy. <laughs> sorry about that. This one is a little bit clogged and that sometimes does happen because your mica is inside your bottle. So I just take these clogged ones and I take them to the sink and I run hot water through them. I run hot water in a bowl uh, inside the sink and then they become unclogged. So don't get discouraged if you do have um, one that clogs. But of all of these that I have, I have every color of Shimmering Bliss. I, I think only maybe one clogged. And so, I mean, I can't complain. So I, I sprayed Worn Saddle, which is that brown color. I splattered Chestnut Mare. Okay, that's what I'm doing right now. Chestnut Mare is this beautiful auburn color. I love it. it. Just reminds you like of leather. And then I'm also using a little bit of gold on this one. That's another technique you can use. You don't just have to spray with Shimmering Bliss sprays. You can also splatter, which is a lot of fun. Now I'm going in with Harvest Sunset, one of my favorite colors. So um, I do have a discount code for Technique Junkies. It is um, TJ10 Tracy. So if you want to pick up a couple of these Shimmering Bliss sprays, you can do that using my discount code. Or there is a Gotta Have It All bundle. You can get all of them um, for a discount if that's something that you would like. Uh, you can't use my discount code on that, but you can let the folks over at Technique Junkies know that Tracy sent you, uh, Tracy Schultz. Uh, I would appreciate that if you do make any purchases to mention that in your comment box. But you can use my code for anything on sale. I mean, for sale, not on sale in Technique Junkies. That would include your Catherine Pooler inks your shimmering bliss sprays, your eyes inks, which you guys know I love the eyes inks. Um, of course, your stamps that are available. Yeah, basically, there's a lot to choose from. And Technique Junkies has really fast shipping. So and it's not real expensive compared to some of these other companies that charge a lot for shipping. So this panel is looking fabulous. This is the look that I was envisioning when I started playing with my Shimmering Bliss sprays. So um, next I'm going to stamp my sentiment. I'm actually going to grab a sentiment from the Your Vintage stamp set, which is part of the August 2022 new release. I used You're Not Vintage, You're Old on another card that I made earlier. If you haven't seen it, check out my Technique Junkies playlist. I'm going to use the sentiment that says a good life is a collection of happy moments. So this stamp set comes with four different sentiments and different fonts. Each sentiment has its own font. All right. So I've got my paper in there and I'm going to grab my Versamark ink, ink up my, well, first of all, I'm going to use my uh, rabbit hole designs embossing powder tool. Um, this is a, like a cylinder that has the powder in it. Um, the powder you put on your paper so that you can repel any kind of finger marks or oily spots or whatever dust debris. I don't know. It's magical. It helps to make sure that the things that you want embossed get embossed and the stuff that shouldn't be embossed doesn't get embossed. So um, anyways, go ahead and I put Versamark on my sentiments and then I'm going to grab my Versafine Clara Nocturne ink, which is a black pigment ink, and I'm going to stamp that as well. This just gives me a nice juicy impression. Um, and I'm using my hand homemade, um, stamp pressure tool. I do have a video on that 
on how I made it. It was a lot of fun to make and easy to make as well. Now I'm going to emboss the these sentiments. I'm just going to grab my clear embossing powder and I'm going to sprinkle that over my two sentiments. Now remember that ink is still wet. That's a nice pigment ink. Plus I've got a little bit of Versamark on there too. You don't have to do both but sometimes that's what I do just because I really want to make sure that I've got a nice when I when I dry that sentiment and when I heat emboss it I want it to just pop off the page all right so the top sentiment is also part of your vintage it says it takes a long time to grow an old friend I use that on another card that I previously created this month it's on my um, blog but um, I ink blended a background and I used some flowers. That was a really pretty card. Okay, so let's move on. We've got our vintage Paris advertisements. This background stamp has a lot going on, but it's the perfect background for a grungy card, I think. And that's why I chose it for this project. And this is what it looks like in the packaging. Vintage French advertisements. Ooh, there's my panel. Doesn't it look good? I am so proud of that panel. I think it turned out great. Um, I love the um, reddish look in the top corner, the gold in the middle, and the overall grungy tone that it brings to this project. This is a pretty detailed stamp. Um, using my stamp press tool, really does help me and it helps me to get a good impression and I'm going to ink that again stamp it again this is where our stamp positioning tools come in handy and that looks great I'm really pleased with that oh, let's rub it again for one more try there must have been a little corner that I had to press down on okay next we're going to splatter I have these metallic watercolors from Finitech or Fine Tech. I'm not sure how you say it, but they are the pearl metallic watercolors. So I'm spraying them with my distressed sprayer to get them wet. And then I'm going to use a fan brush to pick up some of that watercolor paint and flick it onto my project. All right. So, um, You'll see my process here because I really wanted to share it with you. The fan brush is really nice, but me, I'm just not getting enough splatter by just tapping it with my finger. So I add a little bit more water. You really do need to add a lot of water. And then I'm grabbing an acrylic stamp block. And uh, this is a really favorite process that I like to use. And then I thought, well, I better move this little watercolor palette off to the side or I'm going to get splatter all over it too. Not that it matters because I mean it is an art supply so it would look kind of artsy right? Anyways I'm just using this beautiful gold color and I'm just using my fan brush and my little acrylic block just to fling the color all over the panel. And you'll have to hang on to the end because I have some still photos to show you of how it looks but you'll see I'm really adding a lot of water to this and that is the best thing you can do you really want to add a lot of water so that you got these little puddles of these metallic watercolors um, so we've got our beautiful shimmering bliss as our metallic color and now we've got these that I'm flinging across here you can see that I've already attached this panel to a card base it's a black card base and I just left the barest amount of margin around it. I used my decal trimmer to cut it down. And it's kind of hard to see on camera, but I will show you at the end with my still photos. All right, now I've got my sentiment here. And I did put a little bit of ink on it already. But now I'm going to grab some of this copper, this beautiful copper metallic watercolor, and just splash it and splatter it right on top of that sentiment and I'm really pleased with how this turned out I don't do grungy that often but it is fun and it just gives a real antique look to the card <clears throat> excuse me 
All right. So if you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you would subscribe. Um, if you like this card, give it a thumbs up my video, please. And uh, leave a comment below. What do you think about my process for getting some antique look to this card? I think these still photos do a, a better job of capturing the effect of that splatter on this card. Um, and depending on one light, what light you look under, you get more of a reflection off of that um, gold watercolor. Also notice that I did put a matte layer behind my sentiment and I used that shimmering bliss background that I created earlier for that matte layer. All right, everybody. Well, thanks so much for watching and have a hopeful day. Bye-bye.